Hey guys, editing Alicia here. I forgot to do an intro, so hello. Welcome to my channel. I'm gonna be doing my writer Opoly challenges today, or in this video. I didn't do them all in one day. Just, just being clear about that. But let's get into the first one. Hey guys, so I am going to go work on my writer toolbox. I've chosen hyperbole. Let's see how I do. I'm gonna do at least 10. 10 practice. Okay. So I've got my 10. It only took me like 10 minutes to do this. Some of them are terrible. Some of them I've written before. And some of them are not that bad. Um, they're all sexy because that's currently what I'm writing is erotica. Like, his cock made her world shatter. I don't know what's wrong with me, but there you go. That's one of them. Um, <laughs> oh, they're terrible. They're terrible. He, reac he reacted like she'd break him into pieces and gobble them up. I don't know if this is really hyperbole, but I am exaggerating, so I hope that it works. It works well enough for me, so, and I'm the one who's, like, testing myself, so we'll go with it. All right, challenge one done. Well, let's get on to some other things that we're working on for Brideropoly. Mm-hmm. Anything Alicia here again. I didn't let you know what I was doing here, and so, and so what I'm doing is outlining Ash, so this is just a whole bunch of me writing, but outlining a chapter, so... Yes. So it's only a little bit before dinner time, I'm going to start my scene out of order, which is my last prompt that I have to do this month for Writeropoly. I caught up on my other ones last month, and I'm about to nail this month early. I'm so excited about this. Okay. Well, let's get to writing this scene. It is about, by the way, midnight. He popped into my head close to the end of his own story, and he said, Hey, you didn't know this, but this is going to happen, so now I'm going to write it down so I don't lose it. Seven, yeah, seven, 758 words later, and I've got two partial scenes, which is what I had in my head. Part of it was in his perspective, part of it was in hers, so I didn't, I'm going to count it as one scene since it's partial too. But that's what was in my head, so that's what I wrote down. Yeah, let me show you real quick. It's sexy, so I'm not going to read it to you, sorry. But that is my last prompt for... Vertopoly, September. Yes. I'll do a wrap up here in a little bit, but oh my god. Yay. Okay guys, so let's do my quick recap before I let y'all go. So in September I had five roles, and first I was to create a new side character, and I did that with Comet and his ex-girlfriend. Not the best side character, but she came 
important to the plot, although we never actually meet her. We do get a little extra information in Winter's point of view about her hitting files, or uh, charges filed against her for using her magic inappropriately. So I thought that was interesting. It also connected to a future Alpha Cobalt, who is also a magic user, but in a very different way. So yes, I got that done. Check. Next, I was to do, to pull out my brighter toolbox. And I decided to work with hyperbole. In about 10 hyperbole sentences, as you will have seen, not that difficult. Most of them I had done similarly to. In my stories, all of them were sexual. When you write erotica, that's apparently how your brain works. Pretty consistently. So, check. Then I was to outline a chapter, and I finished outlining Comet, and finished writing him too, which is nice. Thank you for being over. And I outlined the first half of Ash, which I'm in the middle of writing right now. So, and then write a scene out of order. You will have a scene. I wrote 758 words. The scene still plagues me though, which is interesting. It was hopefully meant to like make me not worry about it anymore, but now I've realized other things that I want to write in that scene in that part, and so it's a good effect. Like I, there, there's stuff I didn't know that's coming to me now that I've written that down, which is usually the purpose of writing things down if you didn't know. When you have ideas, it's always nice to start listing them because the new ones form. Hi, kitty. How you doing? Kitty break. So that was interesting, and I don't know how I'm going to choose between these men for her when I'm done. Like, I know the obvious choice, but there's so many others that just, like, the heart. It makes the heart hurt to not think about them with her, but they can't all be with her. So, yeah. Anyways, check. Hi, Ray. And then my last prompt was to read something. And since I'm in the middle of book eight and nine this month, I think I've done that. More importantly, I've decided to read instead of write on some days. When the days when my brain is tired and instead of forcing myself to write, I decided to read instead, which of course I needed to because library loans. I have five right now. I had six last week all at one time, and it's a bit much, but most of them are audiobooks, so I'm not too worried about getting through them. I just started Wilder Girls by Rory Power, and I'm finishing up The Concrete Blonde by Michael Connelly. I just finished Four by Veronica Roth yesterday, which makes me want to read the Divergent series again. If I get a reread, I might do that. But yeah, I also, in case you didn't know, finished my August prompts last week, and they're both up right now, so writing a fan fiction and writing a review. Woot woot. And now I'm caught up. And I want to play with my Writeropoly ward again. Which will be tomorrow. Anyways. Thank you for watching. This is me wrapping up Writeropoly September. And yeah, I might do a little bit more next month without my anthology in my way. Taking up my time. Because I'm taking a break from editing for a little while. So, yeah. Anyways. Thank you for watching. Let me know if there's a challenge you would like me to try. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Love you, nerds. Bye.